Hello everyone. Today, I invite you to step into my time machine and take a trip back to vintage Vegas, where you could find a delicious and cheap steak dinner. Vegas was so amazing back in the days of my youth. An exciting steak deal around every corner. Is there any American food item more synonymous with the West than a steak? Well, if you look hard enough, there's still some great steak deals to be found. And today, we're going to show you five of them that you may not know about and rank them from last to first. While we may discuss some of the other menu items at each restaurant, our judgment about the best steak deal is based solely on the food that's part of the deal. Okay, coming in at number five, the Chuck Wagon at the Longhorn Hotel, which is open 24 hours a day. This place is very small, very friendly, and very popular among the locals, which explains why there's always a wait to get in. They have a huge menu, and one thing that they offer that we couldn't resist was this large sample appetizer platter for only $14.95. It was a great way to try the number of different things they have to offer, and I really enjoyed it. The buffalo wings were perfectly spicy with a delicious cool ranch dip. The fried chicken was similar in flavor and was, in my opinion, the highlight of this platter. And then the jalapeno poppers, spicy and delectable. Overall, this appetizer included a lot of food, was enjoyable, and definitely worth the $14.95. But again, this in no way was part of our judgment about the steak deals. But we digress. So back to the steak deal. They have many steak deals here, making it difficult to decide which one to choose. There are a number of good deals on steaks available at any hour of the day. Most of these steak deals are offered for under $25 and they come with your choice of potato, soup of the day, and or a salad. They also always offer some sort of steak and lobster combination for under $25. However, this is only available with vegetables and a choice of potato, no soup or salad. We decided to try one of the steak deals and the steak and lobster combo deal. The lobster and steak combo comes with either an eight ounce top sirloin or a New York steak and a four ounce lobster tail and is priced at $18.99. We asked for the mashed potato option. The mashed potatoes are exceedingly average, lacking any creaminess or rich butter flavor. Overall, pretty bland and stodgy. The pre-made gravy makes them a little better, but still leaves one searching for something creamy to lift the potatoes to another level. The mixed vegetables, while not terrible, were frozen, but well seasoned, the lobster is really tiny, about the size of a large prawn. It's not horrible. If you're looking for a low-budget lobster, then this is the place. The New York steak leaves something to be desired, though. The meat is tender and juicy, the flavor is good, but it was overpowered by a strong and lingering charcoal taste. Our other order was for the hand-cut, choice, 14-ounce ribeye steak, charbroiled to your liking and topped with two onion rings. We elected to go with the french fries and a blue cheese salad. This is priced at $24.99. To start, the salad dressing isn't homemade and is just barely passable, nothing to write home about. The fries were slightly larger than shoestring fries and again, nothing special. The onion rings were good. As for the star of the show, the ribeye, it was tender and juicy and had a good amount of fat and was prepared exactly as we asked for it, rare. But as with the New York, it was somewhat bland and overpowered by a charbroiled, almost metallic flavor. In both cases, the steak was far from the worst I've ever eaten. But for the money, you can get better quality at the other restaurants in this review. The staff is very friendly and it's a comfortable place to dine. I'd love to come back here and order some other things from their extensive menu. This is the type of place you like to frequent due to the very friendly employees and the immediate feeling you're in someone's home. If you're new to our channel and you appreciate what we're doing, please like and even subscribe. It's free and it helps appease the YouTube algorithm, which helps us grow and bring you more reviews. Today, we have a shout out to a new VIP member, Catherine Coven Pacino. Welcome and thanks for supporting our channel. Enjoy the perks that come with membership. Okay, coming in at number four, the Village Pub at Ellis Island. It's a little crowded, always a wait here. If you're looking for a relaxed meal, then this may not be the place for you. 
But if you're looking for a good bargain and not sterling service, this is a great place. Village Pub at Ellis Island has a few great deals for you. As with the Chuck Wagon, we ordered two of their deals. The first deal is for a 10 ounce top sirloin steak cooked to your desired temperature with your choice of super salad and a choice of potato. This deal is normally offered for $14.99, but if you have a player's card, there's an even better deal possible, but you need to gamble and spend $5. You then receive a credit for the $5 spent, making the deal an incredible $9.99. As you can see, we opted for the steak fries, as well as the salad with their homemade ranch dressing. We started off with the salad. The ranch dressing is always good here. It's fresh tasting, tangy, garlicky, and delicious. The fries are thick cut, and I asked for them extra crispy since our last prime rib meal here, the fries came out pretty soggy. They got it right, and the fries were nice and crisp on the outside, yet soft and tender on the inside. While the steak is very tasty and delightfully seasoned, this steak is a little on the tough side. Lots of deep, rich flavor from the garlic, salt, pepper, as well as an overall meat quality. It also appeared to be much larger than the advertised eight ounces, so that was a nice bonus. The second offer we selected is the Steak and Shrimp Special. For $21.99, you get an 8-ounce New York steak with six butterfly fried shrimp, green beans, soup or salad, and your choice of potato. We opted for the baked potato as well as today's soup of the day, which is a chili soup. The baked potato is very good. I asked for it with some yellow cheese on the side, but just as with the last time we dined here, they neglected to bring it out to me. As I stated earlier, the service can be kind of sketchy. They always seem flustered, and an air of chaos perpetually wafts through the dining room. If you're looking for great service, look elsewhere. Also, you can't get any special requests or substitutions. Everything comes as is. You can replace your green beans with mixed veggies, but that will cost you a dollar upcharge, and they're still frozen and tasteless. The green beans, while also frozen, are a little better since they saute them in garlic and butter. Next, I tried the soup. Today, it's chili soup, and it's bursting with robust flavor and perfectly spiced. I started my cooking career by entering and winning the Malibu Chili Cook-Off. I won many years in a row, so I, I like to think that I know good chili. And this is good chili, but in soup form. These shrimp are well executed. The coating is a panko-type breadcrumb. Inside, the shrimp are tender, very juicy as well. I'm not sure they make them here, perhaps they're frozen, but still pretty enjoyable. The steak is so full of rich umami seasoning. It's been marinated for a long time in garlic, salt, and pepper, and the flavor is great. It's also much more tender than the sirloin steak. While the steaks at Ellis were less tender than at Chuck Wagon, the flavor was much better both with the steak and with the sides, particularly the homemade ranch dressing and their excellent homemade soups. Okay, coming in at number three is Jackson's Bar and Grill. You'll find the door is locked and you have to ring a buzzer to have them let you in. Once you do get in, it's not a beautiful or elegant setting. Somewhat dark, dank, smoke-filled bar with a dining room. It's a rough around the edges locals hangout. Many of us here in Vegas are quite familiar with this $20, 16-ounce ribeye deal. It also includes steamed veggies and a choice of potato although the baked potato is only available after 12. One whole pound of wonderfully tender ribeye, charred to perfection. We love this place. It's a little divey and dimly lit, but this is a huge steak and a great price. The outside of this steak is seasoned to perfection with lots of salt and pepper. It doesn't come with soup or salad, but for an extra $5, you can get a side salad with their fabulous homemade ranch. The steaks are fresh, never frozen, and hand cut each day by Chef Lonnie, who obviously takes great pride in his work. I ordered the salad to start. The dressing is wonderfully garlicky. You can taste the buttermilk and it's definitely worth the $5. Look how juicy the steak is. It's so tender you barely need a knife to cut through it. The fries are wonderful as well. Nice and crispy, not at all greasy. The veggies also really delicious here at Jackson's. Fresh, never frozen. They're very friendly, and if you wish, they'll substitute double fries if you don't want vegetables. So, Jackson's is definitely a step above Ellis Island. 
The steak is a higher quality and perfectly prepared, as well as it being a calmer and friendlier environment. They'll go the extra mile to get you what you desire, and you can feel the love of food coming through. Jackson's is a great place for steak. Okay, coming in at number two, the Coronado Cafe at the South Point Casino Hotel. For only $19.95, they're offering a whopping one pound fat, juicy porterhouse steak grilled to perfection. It's served with a choice of potato, garlic toast, two onion rings, and either soup or salad. Today, we placed two orders, one with the chicken noodle soup and mashed potato, and the other with the salad and their fantastic homemade ranch dressing and fries. And they give you a lot of fries here. They're heavenly, perfectly crispy and brown on the outside, while tender and fluffy on the inside. This soup is deep and rich with chicken flavor. It's obvious that it's homemade, slow cooked broth with large chunks of fresh chicken and noodles. It's served with Ritz crackers. I really love the soups here. The salads are always great as well. I'm a huge fan of homemade ranch dressing, and I love this little olives and cherry tomatoes they put in. It's also served with a roll. Of course, they're not homemade, but they're served warm and are tasty with the melted butter they provide. The garlic bread makes a nice accompaniment to the steak, and the onion rings are a real treat, nice and crunchy. These mashed potatoes are fresh and sensational, very well seasoned with lots of cream, butter, and salt. You can tell they're made from real potatoes. We also asked for our steaks rare, and as usual, Coronado Cafe didn't disappoint. The steak is cooked perfectly. And they'll cook it however you like, so don't be put off if you don't like yours as rare as ours. The meat they use is very good quality and wonderfully seasoned, almost bordering on being salty, but in my opinion, fantastic. Such deep umami richness and lots of garlic as well. While the steak was similar in quality and execution as Jackson's, for your money, you get more food for the same price at Coronado. Okay, this is a pretty tough act to follow, but we did find an even better deal. Okay, drum roll please. And now for the top of our list, the creme de la creme, the king of the heap, A number one. John Cutter Grill and Tavern. Every Sunday, John Cutter offers 50% off all of their steaks. Though a little far from the Strip in Summerlin, there are two other locations under the name Rustic House, which may be closer for you. Their addresses are in the description area below. Cutter's is head and tails above the other restaurants we've reviewed today. And this Sunday half-off deal, you'd be crazy to miss it. Today, we had the 18-ounce bone-in ribeye, normally $48, but on Sundays, only $24. We also had the 16-ounce New York steak, normally $45, today $22.50. The steaks here are served a la carte. We also ordered a side Caesar salad and fries, each at $7. The Caesar is fabulous, one of the best I've ever had. A true Caesar salad, crisp romaine lettuce, and a wonderfully rich dressing made from fresh olive oil, Worcestershire sauce, anchovy, and fresh egg yolks. The croutons are the only thing lacking in this salad. They're a bit bland, but the bold dressing more than makes up for that. The fries are also some of the best I've had in the city. Crisp and fresh, not at all greasy, truly sensational. You can taste the Kennebec potatoes, which are widely accepted as the best for fries due to their low water and sugar content. And the clean oil is almost non-existent. The steaks come with a subtle chili sauce on top. It's not too spicy. It adds just the slightest hint of pepperiness. Where do I begin with this fabulous meal we had? First of all, the steaks here are in the same league as any Gordon Ramsay restaurant. Top-notch quality meat, beautifully prepared. The flavor of this ribeye is spectacular. So tender and juicy. You can taste the subtle charcoal notes, but they don't overpower the rich umami beef. This is a standout steak, and it has a lot going on in the taste department. This New York steak is probably one of the best I've ever had. Look how thick this is. The flavor is phenomenal. And as with the ribeye, just amazingly tender and juicy. Not very much fat either. And the little amount of fat on this steak is edible and delicious. I'd be happy to eat this anytime. I've noticed that while good steaks, the other places we reviewed fall short on quality compared to John Cutter's beef. I'll definitely be coming back soon for this deal. 
They also offer a discount if you sign up for a rewards program. Just leave your phone number on the receipt and receive $20 off your next meal and other perks. There are so many great places for steak here in Vegas. Today, we wanted to show you some of the best bargains where you can still get a great deal as they had in days gone by. In their own way, each of the five restaurants we reviewed today offer an excellent deal. And with the exception of John Cutter's, it was difficult to decide on the exact order. John Cutter's was the clear winner today, not just for the deal, but for the quality of the food. It was simply magnificent. So run, don't walk to Cutter's or their other locations at Rustic House, where you can get the same great deal in food. I hope you found our review helpful. We had a great time sampling all the food for this video. Make sure to check out these places too. Who knows, maybe you'll see us there. And don't forget to tell them, Let's Eat Vegas sent you. I know we're all guilty of watching YouTube videos and not participating. As a reminder, please like, comment, subscribe, or even become a VIP member. It means a lot to us, and it helps us grow and to bring you more reviews. Until we eat again, bon appetit.